And uh, it's the Yesu FT-2000 Delta. Yeah, I'm on the uh, FT-1000 Delta. That's why I kind of, the uh, modulation. But uh, I just kind of wanted a microphone and uh, I think an amplifier too, Roger. Yeah, Roger. I'm, um, <clears throat> yeah, I got a couple watts in the wire. But, uh, about 500 bird in the wire. But, yeah, man, I'm uh, cruising on a RE-20 microphone. The Electro Voice RE20 going into uh, Pro Tools, which is kind of like a, kind of like Rank Gear. I used to have the old Behringer, Bellari, all kind of stuff like that, man. But uh, I finally settled out for uh, computerized audio there, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Now, any uh, did you have to do any mods to the radio for that? Negative, man. I bought the radio brand new. Drop three G's down for it. Open it up, Mars it out, and that's the only uh, thing I did to it there, Roger. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I was reading some stuff, uh, you know, even this rig I got here or something like that. Uh, I don't know. It's like it won't accept that kind of stuff, but uh, I don't know. That's old school. Of course, this radio, I bought this back in 99, so uh, uh, I don't know if maybe the newer radios... Uh, can accept that. I'm not sure. So well, maybe I got to do some more uh, reading, but uh, I don't know. This is just the, uh, like I said, the uh, FT-1000 Delta and the uh, Mike's uh, Yesu uh, MD-100. So that's all I use here. So, uh, but no, it's a sweet sound of the station. Just wondered. Could tell there's an amp. You can hear the fans in the background or what well, sounds like an, an amp sound, but the, the uh, audio is just, uh, it's superb. That's the best I've heard for a long time there, Roger. Yeah, Roger on that. There we go, man. I, uh, I cut uh I cut it off. I'm uh, barefoot now there, Roger. Really? Boy, I can still hear uh uh okay. But so it's the amplifier I'm not hearing. There's still kind of a whine there, uh but you know, it's no problem. The audio is still just excellent. There's just it's still like a sound of like a amplifier, you know, like a whine of a fan or something in the background, but uh uh I'm not sure maybe something else is running in the background, a fan or something. I don't hear the kids anymore, hi hi. Yeah, Roger on that. Let me check here. Let's see if I can uh, get rid of that sound. Hello, uh, radio. Yeah, let me. I'll play this back here. Maybe you can hear it there. Hopeful. Yeah, you know, I think uh, that's my computer fan it's picking up. I think it's just uh, the computer fan. I think it's just my computer fan. Ain't a whole lot I could do about that, man. <laughs> Ain't a whole lot I could do about that there, Roger. Roger and that. No, it ain't no problem, though. No, like I say, the modulation and stuff like that, it just sounds great. No, I was just kind of wondering. Uh, I can kind of tell you're on a Yesu. Uh, Kenwood's got a different sound. Icom's got a different sound. But Yesu's got a, a distinct sound. I've been a uh, fan of Yesu for a long time. So, uh, <laughs> no, it sounds great there, but It sounds really great there. I don't know. Maybe someday uh, I'll have to look into it myself. Always, uh, uh, I've looked at it, but uh, well, never, never. Uh, I guess uh, made it the uh, decision to venture that way, Roger. Yeah, come on, man. Just dive in and do it, man. Just dive in and do it. Sorry about that. Yeah, just dive in and do it. Uh, I tell you what, man. Uh, go check out the Voodoo Crew. Go uh, check out the Voodoo Crew there, Roger. Yeah, okay. All one word, I suppose, or uh, two separate. Voodoo Crew, Roger. Yeah, it's uh, two words, man. Voodoo Crew. And uh, look them all online, man. They're a bunch of cats. And they took that radio that you got right there and turned it into a broadcast radio there, Roger. Roger that. Yeah, we'll have to do that. We'll have to do that. <laughs> like I say, I've been interested for years. I always get good compliments with the rig I got now, but uh, I, I do like uh, the sound what you have. I mean, it sounds, there's not too much bass. 
you know, everything is everything just sounds right. Um, I go up on uh, what is it, fourteen. Uh, 270, 280, listen to those guys up there sometime, and, uh, you know, some of those guys, boy, the, the, the bass is just, uh, it's, it's irritating, uh, the mids are, uh, bad sometimes, so it's, uh, I don't know, and I've been on some websites where I've read about this radio, and, uh, uh, some guy, but my, my God, it's all I get half the radio part to do some mods just so it accept the, uh, uh, modulation going through it. So, uh, I'll have to do that. I'll check the Voodoo crew out there, Roger. Yeah, check them out, man. They got some real good information, especially on that, uh, radio there. Yeah, but like I said, this thing out of the box, man, I just, uh, I just hooked up my audio to it and call it macaroni, man. Called it macaroni there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, and that. No, it sounds great. That sounds, uh, like I say, uh, uh, been on the radio for a long time. And, uh, you know, when somebody comes on and they got gear, I can tell they're running gear, that kind of stuff. But I uh, got to say, you're running some good stuff there. It sounds re uh, really good there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, appreciate it. Yeah, I can uh, hear guys and that are not quite there, some that are. Some that, like you said, man, you know, the mids or they got too many lows. The words start running into each other. You got to find that happy medium, man. You really do. I mean, everyone loves to have a good bassy voice, and I've got one, man. But it's not uh, not overbearing, you know what I mean? It's just enough where uh, you just has that bass roll off. That's what I've got. I've got bass roll off. You'll hear my bass. It just rolls off. No, Roger that. No, I uh, yeah, watching the computer. There's a couple websites here. You know, people post what they're hearing and talking about and stuff like that. Your uh, call sign, the names, or not name, but uh, call sign and uh, location have come up uh, plenty of times. And uh, the the report's always with the uh, audio, just uh, superb, uh, BBC quality, uh, so that kind of stuff. So uh, that's good stuff there, right? Oh yeah, all the boys in the uh, the UK. All the boys over there in Europe, they always call me a BBC station. <laughs> they always call me a BBC station. Matter of fact, man, when the DX is rolling over there, I could just key up and say, hey, what's going on? And uh, I swear 50 people key up, 4040, Charlie Tango 4040. <laughs> they, they know who I am. A lot of them, I don't even have to tell them who I am anymore there, Roger. Roger and that, yeah. Yeah, we get that once in a while with them, uh, this little station, <laughs> excuse me, this little station here, too. But, uh, yeah, I've, uh, like I say, I've seen that, and, yes, you're 100% right. Most of the stations reporting that are from the U.K., uh, 26, 108, uh, uh, some of the English stations there, because they use that. Uh, you know, when you get the BBC report there, <laughs> kind of makes your head swell there. Uh, well, at least mine does there. Hi, hi. Yeah, Roger on that, man. And, and you're never done. You're never done. But I'm I'm pretty doggone happy where I'm at, you know. And I can make a hundred million different voices, you know what I mean? I can make a hundred million more voices. I mean, uh, this is just like my, I call it my sideband setting. I got an AM voice and you know what I mean? And I've got some that have a little more rumble to them, but still have a... Uh, still have uh you know still have it together because you got to remember a lot of people out there too man they're not receiving real wide too so you get too far out there you get a lot of the guys out there on their uh you know their filtered up radios and they'll be like man you sound like crap and you get a guy that's uh kind of got a wide band radio and he's just like oh my god it's beautiful baby Yeah, I get that even with this sometime, you know, uh, with the processes that where I got it at and uh, that kind of stuff. I get some people, yeah, you're overdriving, you're doing this and stuff, and uh, I don't know, you know, with the uh, monitor feature on this radio, I listen to myself, I sound okay to me, but yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the receiving end, what they have for what they're receiving you with, yeah, it makes all the difference in the world sometimes. Yeah, Roger, man, now you get a real clean sound, man. Real clean sound, wouldn't touch it. I would definitely go with a different microphone, though. 
I think if you had like a RE20 or a PR40 microphone, RE20 or a PR40 microphone would make a, the biggest difference in the world for your setup. Yeah, I've actually looked at the uh, PR40 before. The RE20, uh, I'll write it down, I'll take a look and appreciate the information. <clears throat> yeah, we'll take a look at it and see. Uh, uh, always looking to improve, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> and uh, maybe the wife will be forgiving, because I know when I bought this radio back in 99, uh, what I, yeah, about four, four Gs we spent for this thing. But, like a buddy of mine uh, had a hand buddy tell me, Larry says, you buy this radio, be the last one Everybody. And so far, he's right there, Roger. Yeah, no, no, no doubt about it, man. Yeah, you put a. I'm running a RE20, man. And the PR40 is 325, I think, and this one here is 400. But it's going to be the best 400 you ever spent. If it was me, and I would tell you, just go for the extra 75 bucks, man. Get this microphone here, it's in every radio station. I guarantee you, you look up your local radio, your favorite local radio station, look at their website, and this is the microphone they're using. This is the broadcast microphone there, Roger. Yeah, Roger, that. I will do that. I'll look up the uh, RE20. RE20. What's the RE stand for, if I can ask? Yeah, it's uh, Electro Voice. Electro Voice RE20 there, Roger. Roger, Electro Voice. Good God, that's uh, that stuff from back in the old days. Uh, <laughs> some of the RCA days, I remember right. Uh, Electro Voice uh, or Electro Vox. <laughs> uh, well, I'll definitely look into that there. Could I get your name? The uh, name here is Larry. Lima Alpha, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. Larry, and uh, in the state of Wisconsin. You used to live out uh, pretty close to where you're at there, Roger. Yeah, Roger on that, Larry. Yeah, you got uh, Scott out here. Plus, I'm rolling a video gate on you. I'll put it on YouTube, man. I don't know if you see my YouTube channel, man, but, uh, Larry, I'll put this video up, too, so you can hear what you sound like. But, yeah, this microphone is, uh, I'm telling you, if you just took this microphone and bought a little $60 mixer, you know, a little Behringer mixer, and put it into that radio... People will tell you, don't touch a doggone thing, you know what I mean? Now, of course, you can get it more exotic and put more put more stuff into it, but uh, I guarantee you, people will say, man, you are a broadcast station there, Roger. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, I have, uh, over the years, seen some videos uh, on the Internet. One of them was, yeah, the guy was, uh, it was like a computerized uh, something, uh, and, you know, he would do a... Uh, like you're talking, uh, the different voices, like a sideband voice, the AM voice, the FM voice, uh, uh, different settings, and uh, yeah, I was amazed with it, but uh, boy, that was years ago when I watched it. But uh, no, I'll definitely check into it, because uh, like I say, this microphone is okay, but uh, you know, I bought this with the radio and all that kind of stuff, looked at the high all microphones, uh, some other stuff like that, and you know, I don't know, just kind of dropped it, because uh, everything said it was was okay, you know, it's okay, and it's okay, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I love the way that sounds, what you got going there, that sounds really nice, and like I say, over the years, I've looked at a few, uh, you know, with this radio, and like I said, it was modifications of the radio, and I was like, yeah, geez, why do I got to do that for, you know, so it's like, uh, well, from what you're saying, sounds good, I'll have to look into it, Scott, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Larry, I think if you just bought an Electro Voice RE20, Got you a little mixer board, you know, a little Behringer mixer board you can plug your uh, microphone into, and uh, just plug it straight into the back of your radio, right into the mic jack in the back, and then use a foot pedal to key it. You'll be good to go. Yeah, Roger, now, yeah. Uh, well, maybe sometime I'll talk a little bit more. Uh, you're fading just a little bit on me, but no problem. But uh, uh, the, the, how to set it up or something like that, uh, then use the front end of the radio, like the uh, monitor button to listen how you sound? 
sorry about that. My sweet thing walked in here. Uh, sorry about that, Larry. What was that? Yeah, I, I could tell you're getting distracted there. But, uh, yeah, when you do all that and stuff to, uh, to listen how you are, I mean, outside of using a scope or anything, uh, to listen to yourself and to set it up. Uh